I don't know if he have any, if he has any moves, any other moves in this form. He usually doesn't use them if he does has. In some games, you can actually see a portrait of that skeleton. So, Guybon is everywhere. And then we are on to the final boss, Death himself. Which can be a bitch. So we are doing this the safe way, in order to not die. Which will take some more time. Just stand over here. And it's death! Oh my god! He'll be throwing his sickles at me. That's what it called, a sickle? Nah. That's a Dutch word, I guess. And then he'll throw his sight. And this gives me enough time to hit him. As you can see, he's pulling me in towards him. The second time, you don't have to dodge it. Da! Ah! God, fuck it. This is not good. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad, people. Oh! I need to get out of here! We'll do it an even safer way. No, no, oh. I'm still alive. Ah, oh, god fucking damn it, I'm not alive anymore. Luckily, they let you stand out of at this guy, so... I hope they got the second whip as well. Give me the second whip. Thank you. As I was saying, we are going to do the safe way. Oh yes. Oh yes. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Fizz bolts. Then Damn it. This boss is a fucking pain. Come on, people. I know I can do this. Come on, it's not that hard! And I even passed the 10 minute mark. I hate myself. No! Come on, get into attack range! Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Hallelujah. And that's it for this video. Oh wait. No it's not, I'll just continue. And we'll go on to the final boss. Which, of course, is Dracula. Uh, like I said, you can just say that this level has four bosses. Let's go to the secret part here. Get some more health. Heart. The cross. Score multiplier. Triple multiplier. Okay, and we'll go face Dracula. Another piece of meat in case you missed that secret. Some hearts. I guess the X is here. No, not a soft weapon at all. And here it is. The epic conclusion of Castlevania 4. 
which in my opinion is just actually not that epic. Oh my god, it's Dracula! Oh, oh I already messed it up. There we go, that's just safer. I mean, I've got a hundred hearts, so why not use them? Uh oh! Come on, it's not this hard. It's easier than I'm making this. Piss off. Yes, I need that. Thank you. Meat. Yes, he will actually give me to Simon if your health is getting low. At least in the first phase he does this. Look at that, full health. In the second phase he just has one move, which he, which he keeps repeating, which is actually really easy to avoid. I guess this is actually harder than the second form, which is also a joke. Normally Dracula looks really epic in the second form, but this Dracula is a joke, just like the mummy. I mean, look at it. I think after I hit him one more time or two more times, the second form will appear. Huh? Even one or two more times? Oh, I get another ball. Nice! And here's the second form of Dracula. Which is not changed at all except for his head is now a skull. Or I guess it's a skull, maybe it's uh, a vampire head or something. And his only attack is this. Which can be avoided very easily. Yeah, that's it. That's the entire second form. Like I said, this Dracula is a joke in comparison to the old NES Draculas. And the one after this, Rondo of Blood. Yes, Rondo of Blood. Did I make a mistake there? Dracula X Chronicles. That game. That Dracula was epic. Especially in the Super Nintendo version with all the platforms. And that's it. We finished Castlevania 4. So yeah, like I said, the last boss is a joke. He will actually escape. He won't really die, he'll just escape. Look at that. Look at it, look at it, you can kill it. Nothing will harm it. Nothing at all. It will just go sit there and vanish. Dracula escapes. What the hell. And you get to find lore. And yeah, that's it. Castlevania. It was a nice game, but everybody made it out to be such a big game. The graphics are good, the music is good, but the overall difficulty is just too low. Especially on some of the bosses like the mummy, uh, the Frankenstein monster, Dracula himself. I mean, the last three bosses, the Slogra, Gaibon and Death, are just way harder than Dracula himself. It's just such an anticlimactic ending. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I don't think you want to see the cutscene, so... I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.